Hi guys, welcome to our first ever cohort 2.0 class. In this class, we'll be covering a general introduction to design. If you're unable to join the server, ensure you watch on YouTube or wherever this content is streamed to. Now, let's begin. According to Charles, design is a plan for arranging elements in such a way as best to accomplish a particular purpose. Let's quickly cover some design fundamentals. Now, what is design? According to Wikipedia, design is a plan or specification for the construction of an object or system, for the implementation of an activity or process, or the outcome of that plan or specification in the form of a prototype, product, or process. It is complex yet subtle process that entails more than just making things look nice. UI UX design is both an act and a science. We will expand on this in the next class. As we progress through this training, please keep the following in mind. 1. Design isn't about originality. 2. Designers are not consumers. 3. Designers should be compassionate. 4. Design is not a stage of the project, but rather a component of it. Five, design simplicity does not imply minimalism. Now, a quick introduction about myself. I am Wamaka Wonsu, a digital entrepreneur, co-founder and product design lead at Top Universe, and a product design consultant at BootClick. I primarily work with businesses to turn brilliant and innovative ideas into functional and scalable products. Let's glance through the concept of design principles. What are design principles? Design principles are the rules that designers should follow to create effective and efficient design. The design system that you should know as a UI UX designer are contrast, balance, white space, emphasis, rhythm, movement, proportion, variety, unity, pattern, hierarchy, and reputation. Let's quickly slide into understanding these standard design principles. First, contrast. What is contrast? Contrast is the difference between two or more objects in a design. That makes them stand out as you can see in the example shown in our slide next is balance balance is a pleasing arrangement or proportion of design elements when there is an equally distributed amount of visual signals on both sides of an imaginary axis running through the center of the screen there is balance this axis is typically vertical and it can also be horizontal we basically have Two standard types of balance. We have the symmetrical balance and the asymmetrical balance. Symmetrical balance places equal weight elements on either side of an imaginary center line, while asymmetric balance employs elements of varying weights, which are frequently arranged about a line that is not centered within the overall design. Next on our list of design principles is emphasis. Emphasis is a strategy used to draw the attention of the viewer to a specific design element. This could be to a session of content, an image, a link, or a button. An example of this is shown in a diagram from Envision. Most fields of design, including architecture, landscape design and fashion design use emphasis. Even if you don't realize it, we are surrounded by emphasis. Many things can be used by designer to create emphasis, such as lines, shape, color, texture, and so on. Next is hierarchy. Hierarchy refers to the importance of elements within a design, how items are ranked against each other, here is a pictorial example of what hierarchy is in design. Hierarchy is determined by the order of importance rather than design styles. 
A good design guides the eye through each area in descending order of importance. Next is rhythm. Similar to how the space between notes in a musical composition work, the spaces between repeating elements can cause a sense of rhythm to form. Here is a pictorial example of what rhythm in design looks like. The repetition of an object throughout the composition creates a pattern. We can use pattern to draw focus and emphasis on our subject by including them. They help to distinguish and remember the composition as a whole. Next, we have proportion. This is the relationship between the sizes of an element. It can be used in conjunction with other principles such as emphasis to draw the viewer's attention to a focal point and aid in the interpretation of design or imagery. Next, we have repetition. Repetition in design is used to create a design that draws the user's attention to a focal point, has continuity of flows, lines, shapes, forms, color, and even design elements are examples of repetitive elements. Here's what repetition in design looks like. Let's talk about white space, also known or called negative space. Is the only one that specifically deals with what you don't add. Here's an example. Next, we have movement. Movement in design is a way of controlling the elements in composition so that the eye is led from one to the next and information is properly communicated to your audience. Here is a quick pictorial description of movement. Next, we have variety. Variety is used to create visual interest. A design that lacks variety can quickly become monotonous, causing the user to lose interest. A variety creates user interest and keeps them engaged. Next, let's talk about unity. Unity is a force operating within a design that gives it its appearance of oneness or resolution. Simply put, it refers to how well elements work together to achieve eligibility and visual hierarchy. Here is a pictorial representation. Finally, we have pattern. Pattern refers to design elements as seen in things like wallpaper. They can also refer to certain standards for how elements or certain shapes can be designed. Here is a pictorial representation of this. Here is a pictorial representation of this. We have been able to cover the principles of design in this session. Kindly ask questions on the server and YouTube if you have any. We would love to assist you with further explanation if needed. If you enjoyed this content, join our Discord server and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check the curriculum and calendar and be prepared for the next class. Thank you.